folks, TJ here. I am feeling extra special giddy. It's been a long time since I felt this giddy about a tech device or a computer type of device. And now that I think about it, it's been ages since I've purchased a brand new computer. Uh, the last computer I basically purchased was a Mac Pro 2013 nuclear reactor. If you're just coming from my last video and new to my channel in general, hi, uh, I'm the guy that's uh, departing and saying goodbye to my Mac Pro 2013. Some people called it a trash can. I called it a nuclear reactor, but it had a little bit of a meltdown, and even though it technically still boots, it's having a lot of problems, kernel errors, video card I think is out, and at this point I needed something new. And that something new is going to be the iPad Air. Now, how can you feel so giddy about something like that? Well, I, I do for some reason because it's, it feels fresh again. It's been a long time since I've owned an iPad. My wife and I purchased one like 20 years ago, whenever the original iPad came out. I think I still have it. I don't know if it boots up anymore. Uh, so I'll find that. So when I do the unboxing of the iPad Air, it's not going to arrive until I think Friday, I'll find my other iPad and we'll kind of put them side by side. But I'm feeling giddy for a new computer or a computing device. I mean, some people will say the iPad's not a computer. It kind of is because it's much more powerful probably than my 12-core Mac Pro that I'm about to replace in some aspects. So I'm feeling excited. This box on opening is going to be not even the... I mean, if the MacBook Air was in this size box, I mean, that's like a, a, a King Kong iPad Air. Uh, this is the Kensington Dock that I'm going to do an unboxing of. And that's setting the stage for when Friday I'm going to do an unboxing of my iPad Air. And like I said, I'm feeling giddy like a little kid. There's been a lot of computers I've opened up over the years. I've been an Apple user since the early to mid-90s. I was an Atarian from 1970, late 70s until mid-1990s. It went from Atari 800... When I opened that computer, oh, that was awesome. Uh, and I paid for it myself from paper route money when kids actually got up at the wee hours of the morning at 4 o'clock and put rubber bands on papers and it'd be cold and it snaps on your hand, the rubber band, and it stings like a Dickens because you're outside and freezing. Uh, so the 800 was a wonderful experience. Then I moved on in 1990. <laughs> I used the 800 for like 10 years to an Atari Mega 2 ST, loved it, still own one, I'm an Atari, I'm a retro, so if you're new to this channel, I'm a retro computer user, I've got 8 bits, and whatever bits from all sorts of years and genres, UK based Sinclairs, to United States based Ataris, I love that stuff, but I also love new tech, and I have a YouTube channel, and I want to make videos, and I've been using my Mac Pro for two and a half years until it kind of fell. A little nuclear reactor meltdown, and I'm moving on. And that moving on is the iPad Air. So I'm feeling giddy because it's fresh and new again, and it's been 20 years since I've had really an iPad. So let's open this boxing. We have more time to chat about the iPad Air, but let's. This box is hurricane. Uh, like, oh, I'm, you can see my, my body's shaking. <laughs> Let me put this down on the ground. So this dock basically kind of makes my iPad into like a, a iMac, kind of, a little bit. Uh, so let's do an unboxing. We'll show it off. And then in a future video, I'll put it up on my desk. We'll connect an iPad Air to it. Because I don't know any of this stuff yet. I'm fresh and wet behind the ears on it all. So in the box, I've got bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Oh, this is a long one, but look at that thing. The dogs and cats are going to love it. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Oh, uh, a receipt of some kind. And then here is the box. Oh, 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 oh and a return label. I don't believe I have to have used that. Oh, oh. That was a lot of work. <laughs> so the box is, a, um, it looks very... Apple-esque, right? I'll try to put the, the lighting on thing. Oh, well, you just, well, you, you see a whole bunch of writing here. Let's take it. It's got a sheath. Let's remove it from the sheath. So it's got a little tape. 
and we'll take it out of the sheet, uh, sheet uh, so you can see it better. Oh, I hope I don't slide this thing right up the, the table. Uh, uh, come on, sheet. <laughs> Big sheets! <laughs> This is a, a, not a PG station. It can be a little bit uh, raunchy at times. Oh. <laughs> okay, now. So, very Apple-esque, in my opinion. Nice white box. So let's look at the box a little bit for you, though. You folks, oh, no, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm putting the lighting a little bit this way. Okay, so the box. Looks pretty good, so you can see this is a stand. Kind of looks like that new Apple monitor type of aesthetic. Uh, but there's a lot of cool things about this and it's got a big magnet base for me to put my iPad here. So it says Kensington Studio Dock TM. Uh, and it shows you a nice picture. So I'll hold it in a few different angles. The glare is probably glaring more off of this uh, balding spot. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm not quite 60 yet. I'm 50, how old am I? <laughs> 56, 56. I look 80, I know. I look like Santa, that's fine. <laughs> um, uh, well, where is I going? <laughs> okay, uh, what's it say? USB-C iPad Pro 11, 2000 or um, uh, 18 or later. iPad Air 2020 or later. I am an Air about to be owner. So here's the front of the box. Kensington. I've owned Kensington product before. This side of the box is a little raw. It's just brown. It's, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, this side's raw too. Uh, so a nice white box and then brown. Okay, but the back of the box does redeem itself. <laughs> and it has a nice, and, and I'm not going to read all this stuff. You're probably bored already with this, but the back's got some more pictures. Hey, it shows you the butt. So here's the butt. Butts are good. And here's the frontal zone. <laughs> and then there's a top zone, and it shows you kind of, hey, this is what I'm gonna look like when you're connecting up to a big external monitor. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, and there's a bottom too. The bottom, uh, I'm not gonna show that. It's got like serial numbers and all sorts of things, but, uh, oh, there's lots of languages here. Uh, creativity, adjustability. Uh, created, adaptability. Create uh, the <laughs> I'm not pronouncing any of it right now. I'm spitting all over my glasses. I'm giddy. Okay, so that's the box. It looks nice, and there's little seals here uh, that we're going to just kind of gently, gently. Oh, I need a sharper scissors in this dull piece of whatever it is. Hold on a sec. Now, if I was like, um, what's her name? Uh, Justine. Uh, I, Justine, I watch her videos. She's got, like, lots of big knives. <laughs> uh, don't give my wife a knife. She's scary with a knife. Uh, yeah, that slid a little better. That's nice. So the right, right uh, knife for the right activity. Oh, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting these slits uh, of goo <laughs> off here so this box can uh, roll out. Uh, Maybe I'm a little dangerous with this knife. What the hell is going on? I can't see shit. I am going blind <laughs> a little bit. My eyes kind of suck. I mean, I am an old fart. There'll be some young whippersnapper that's going to post, Hey, you old boomer. I'm not a boomer. I'm a Gen X bastards. If you watch my channel, yes, I yell that word a lot <laughs> when I play video games. Uh, in fact, if you're on my channel, uh, I now have swag. Uh, I have the U bastard t-shirts that you can get from my tea public site uh that's my shtick i like yelling swear words not really bad swear words bastard i think is pretty artificially just kind of plain uh but anyway so so now so this box is gonna you know sometimes it's like a rubik's cube these things take a long i don't know do i pull it out do i shimmy it out it's kind of like I ate too much cheese. And it's <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm no longer giddy. I'm pissed off because this. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Come on, man. What's going on? I'm going to have to stop this video. Do I have some goo on here someplace?
someplace else? I don't think so. This box is just really a tight sheath. I didn't even see my, I, I, the, the camera's probably a little low. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video. I, it's gonna take me about an hour to get this out of the sheath. And then when I get to the next thing, we'll turn on the, the camera again because I need a drink. This is stressful. I mean, these boxes are like super glue. Woo! <laughs> I did it. It was, it was a tight sheath. And it was because this damn tape was like inside and I had to shimmy. In fact, I had to get some magic in me. So I went and put my Santa hat on because I sat here for about an hour. And I worked because I want to save this. I like saving my stuff, my boxes. And this, there's like tape in there. So I shimmying and shaking like an old fart when your body starts wiggling. But I'm there. <laughs> I finally got the sheet out. So, uh... You've seen enough of this box, right? I can maybe read a little. The bottom basically talks about the ports. You've got an upstream iPad Pro port, USB-C for fast charging. Uh, and you've got the back HDMI 2.0 port, 3X USB-A uh, Gen 1, and then 1 gigabit per second Ethernet port. Uh, on the side, you've got USB-C. Uh, 3.2, and you've got an SD card reader. I mean, this thing is like a dock, of, and it's got everything on here. Maximum resolution, 4K at 60 hertz. That's perfectly fine for my eyes. I don't need 120. It may be fine if it was, but I, I could barely see the characters that are this big in front of me. So, um, wireless charging. It's got the key, uh, Qi, uh, Qi, Qi, Qi. <laughs> Quite chain cane, uh, charging phone, uh, it's got everything. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you again, Tinkton, for... Now, now, hopefully this is not another freaking Rubik's Cube. Uh, son of a Bisquix. I mean, these boxes are like a Rubik's Cube in one. I mean, do I just... Is it like Apple where you go, pull it apart and it opens up nice and gently? Oh! Oh! It does! Well, kind of. Let me put this out of the way because I'm going to stab myself. So, look. That was cool. So, look. I, 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 like a big retro video Pac-Man kind of game. So that opens. Oh, I didn't see this before. And it's got a cardboard piece in the front. I'll hold it. It's, it's good. You're not going to read it, but it says, we're here for you. Oh, very nice. We put together a web page just for you and your studio doc. Don't be a stranger. Uh, whether it's a question, comment, or review about your doc, we want to hear from you. It's your feedback that makes us build the best products uh, uh, possible and helps others find the perfect product for their needs. Thank you, Kensington. That's very sweet of you. Uh, some may be bored of unboxings. I try to make mine kind of fun. I understand there's some people that won't understand my comic approach to things perfectly fine i mean i just do this for the fun and i it keeps me active it keeps my mind moving uh i've got the spirit of a 10 year old uh but the body of a 90 year old and the mind of a 12 year old <laughs> okay so in here is the stuff so i'm gonna guess i can kind of oh thank god it comes out easier I didn't eat cheese uh, this time. I ate some tofu and stuff flying right out of me. Perfect. Okay, this box goes here. <clears throat> so now it's got some big egg jelly corrugated uh, protectors. Uh, and I could pull this one off. So very, I mean, that's a puzzle. Look at this. Do you know how to put it back? You know, you ever try to put stuff back and you sit there for five hours trying to put your Christmas ornaments back in because it only goes in a certain way? Oh, my wife does that to me. She's got a bazillion Hallmark ornaments and every year I've got to put them in these little boxes and I'm tired again. <laughs> uh, the, the goal is for me to just, I do these videos kind of for me and if other people enjoy them, that's awesome. I do have a nice, I'm getting close to 5,000 members now. So, so there are some people out there that understand my uh, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull this box out first. So this is a nice, heavy box. And this, I'm going to pull out 
And gently put here, here's another Borg ship. I mean, right now, the Borg are flying. I mean, if you see this coming for you, do you think Borg? Do you think Star Trek? Uh, yeah, Star Trek. That's not Star Wars. You don't want to get screwed up there because if I call something Star Wars, it's Star Trek and not track and Trek. And I'm going to have a lot of people pissed at me. Here's a something. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, another sheath. Uh, uh, oh, let's open this box first. Uh, we'll come back to this. Did I even hit record on this thing? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm probably about a five hours into this, so I may be still unboxing it tonight. Uh, so in the box, um, there is another Rubik's Cube. Bastards! I don't want to ruin... Oh, thank God. Oh, my dog's barking. I'm expecting more deliveries today. Uh, so inside the box is a Kensington booklet. <laughs> Every power cord known to man. Uh, this one's like a UK one, or I should just say foreign one from US. And I've got some 220 to 110 adapter, so I kind of know this stuff a little bit. But that's uh, a weird one. Uh, another weird one, that's two, uh, the, the United States one, that's three, I shouldn't say United States, I mean, it, there's other people that run 110 volt or whatever, another, uh, foreign one, <laughs> this one's got like a ground thing on it too, holy smokes, do I gotta use that one? Oh no, 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 I can use, this is the official one that I'm gonna use, so it came with five, it's not country, to, to, you, you don't have to order a special package for your country. It comes with every country and moon and Mars in one. I mean, they use electricity. I'm sure aliens make espresso in the morning. Not espresso, but espresso. And here's the big power brick. So all that in this nice box. So thank you, Kensington, for providing power cords for every situation known to man, aliens, Bigfoot. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, so now let's open this. I say thank you a lot today because I am feeling thankful that I was able to get the dock. Now, what happens if the air, iPad Air doesn't arrive? I'm going to just steer at this dock um, all day long and dream a dream. And sometimes you got to have dreams, right? So here's the sheath. We're flying through this opening here and we're pulling down the sheath. Okay, let's move this over here because you want to see all the glory that's about to come out of this sheath. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm taking off my pantalones in the morning. That takes me a while. When you get older, shit like that takes a while. I gotta move this stuff out of the way. Okay. So, oh, let's move this over here too. So, oh, look at this thing. It's got like a denim -y look to it. Doesn't that look like denim? Like my, my uh, uh, slacks, uh, not slacks, uh, dungarees. You kids are going, what the frick's a dungaree? <laughs> I don't drink. I don't smoke. Well, I do drink a little bit, but that's only on uh, weekends and at night. <laughs> but I haven't drank since yesterday. So I'm, I'm just this giddy. Yeah. So this thing feels substantial. And what I liked about it is you can put it here and you can maneuver this unit around however you like and not have to hold the base when doing it. At least that's the the essence I'm getting. But here it, it is. It looks like a little a mini iMac. And so here's the front. I do need to pull. There's another Rubik. Uh, this was holding this in. Very nice of you, Kensington. Uh, because this whole thing maneuver. Look at that. I can go, uh, if I'm in a point of sale, you know, I used to be a point of sale specialist. I had my uh, own company, Max Society, that I actually uh, sold IMAX to retail stores as their point of sale. I got out of that business because it was too damn stressful. It's retail. And I want to be happy during the, the holidays. I don't want to be pissed off. Uh, so here it is. So look at that. I'm spitting all over. And then I think this rotates too. Look at that. So if I'm, uh, the one thing about the iPad Air and the Pro, but not the cheaper 10 uh, model, is that the camera, what time is it? Oh, I gotta get going. Uh, the camera's like in the, the corner, so everybody's kind of looking like at an angle, like I'm looking at you straight, but it's, you're looking at me this way. 
So when I'm going to do video conferencing, which I do, believe it or not, I do work for a living. Uh, I could put it in this mode and the camera will be right on my beautiful face. But then when I'm done with that, I can do it like this and have the nice landscape mode. Uh, so here's what this It says Kensington and there's a USB-C here that plugs in to juice this baby up. But I guess this whole plate's supposed to be key charging. Am I right? I'm going to have to look. But uh, you could charge this way. You could charge from here. Um, so, yeah. And then here's the front. I can rest. This is a charge. No, maybe this is the chi key charging. Que Queen-o? Queen-o charging? No, that's, a, that's, that's one of those grains that you put in food for vegans. My wife and I are actually mostly vegetarians. Uh, so I know a little bit about que... <laughs> But no, you put the, the, my wife has a set, the iPod Ear Pro things, what do you call those things? Ear Pros? Uh, anyway, you put that here and it charges and then you can put your phone here and charge. Uh, so that's the front plate. So this whole thing is a magnet. Maybe this doesn't charge. This is where you're going to charge, I think, my iPad. I'm guessing. So here's the back of it. So look, here's the back. It's nice and shiny. Uh, this feels all mostly metal, but it's, there's some plastic. There's ports, Ethernet. You're probably not seeing this really well, but probably close enough. Uh, Ethernet, USBs, uh, HDMI for monitor and a power. All that on the butt. Beautiful butt. Side SD card, uh, headphone jack. Uh, yeah, there's still people that use wires. There's still people that write checks. I write checks still. So don't phase out every little port. Uh, on the side, there's another USB-C and a power button, all in this wonderful little base. Whew, I'm getting tired again. Okay, look at this thing. It looks awesome. That's why I'm so excited. I'm going to have an iPad Air that replaces a desktop that is probably more powerful. I mean, it's eight cores uh, and then eight core GPU, and just it's going to be kick-ass. Oh, the phone's ringing. That's all right. Let it go to voicemail. So anyway... That's the unboxing part. Next video, uh, if you come back for another video, hopefully you do, um, we'll show this um, where the table's going to be, and then I'll do the, uh, the iPad Air unboxing, show it off, and then I'll put it all together in a desktop conglomeration, throw some salad in the mix, some ice cream in the mix, a lot of spoons so we can all come over and enjoy uh, a party. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.